see, it's hard to, it's trying to get used to steering it. But as you can see, I've got more speed. Yeah, obviously the more sun you got. The problem is... The sun keeps kind of dissipating. It's just slightly hazy, so not super cloudy, but it makes a huge difference. It's, it's amazing, eh? Yeah. If I can get this panel up like yeah. this even. Oh. <laughs> Don't be running aground. <laughs> <laughs> okay, careful. So here's we're up at Massasauga Provincial Park, and we have these solar panels to make sure our boat doesn't run out of batteries and that our um, devices have enough power. And so I decided that to hook them up to make the world's um, cheapest uh, self-sustaining uh, human transport. Uh, boat and so as you can see I have 200 watt panels now today we had blazing Sun uh, the last uh, four days and today I was hoping for a window of Sun we got a little bit and I was able to get around um, maybe 20% of the Sun we would get on one of the days that we've had here and it seemed to go okay like I could navigate but with the clouds as you can see um, the sun is not intense at all and it keeps getting covered but I can still get around in this uh, in this kind of a sun don't let anyone tell you that uh, a panels will work on a cloudy day they just don't they need pure uninterrupted Sun so the only thing you need is a small piece of plywood and I'm not sure that you even need to tie it down but I did uh, your weight as long as you're in the center if you get into this boat and you are not centered you are it is going over um, so you have to make sure you get in the center and that you sort of remain balanced you attach your trolling motor to the end of the plywood and I tell you I think sitting like an Indian is gonna be very uncomfortable on this thing unless you sort of so that's why you have the chair it's just too uncomfortable and you know what once you get it going you can fish you can sit upright you can be comfortable uh, I've done it with a battery before you can put the battery under the chair 80 pound battery no problem and you have in that case this thing really boogies um, so there's other ways to configure it you could have you know the panels out uh, beside you I just did a quick where this is our pack up day so I'm just doing a quick um, uh, you know experiment to see if you know the boat will actually work and it does it works quite well I can go over here and even in this minimal sunlight here and I'm not even pointed at the Sun you can see that, let me just get it so it won't hit the rock. We've got some juice there. Now both these are in, um, these are in series, or sorry, parallel. The, um, you can see the boat moving. So you can see the boat is moving slightly right now. Let me back out so you can actually see that. And I don't want to lose my boat, so I'm going back for it. <laughs> That's the one time the sun would come out. Okay. So, a lesson in Murphy's Law. You can have sun all week. Let's turn this off. You, you, can, you can have sun all week long, but the day you want to test your solar-powered boat, that's the day you're going to be overcast, so... Just remember that if it's too hot, just build a solar boat. Um, but I think, you know, fishing in a bay somewhere, I would wear a life jacket. I don't recommend. Uh, no, I would anticipate going in the water if you were trying this. Um, potentially getting all your stuff wet. Uh, because... Uh, it hasn't happened to me yet. I've done it with the battery, as I said. Uh oh Many years ago. Actually, four or five years ago. And uh, i got to shut this off and get out of the water here. Yeah, and, uh, you know, if, if the solar panels... I don't think they'll leave you somewhere, but you would need super calm water. And you'll go very, very slow when the sun is, uh, sun is out of the way. And uh, so if you have any sort of chop or anything like that, I don't recommend you do this. Um, 
and you know if you have a little bit of wind uh, and you don't have a lot of sun I don't recommend doing it but uh, I just put it around near shore to ensure that everything worked properly uh, and then ventured further out as I was trusting that I had um, large spaces between the clouds and I had no problem getting back so anyway that's your solar powered boat hillbilly style Alrighty, where are you? Okay, we're at um, Massasauga Park on our site, and I have rigged these solar panels to create a boat. And we finally got some sun today. It's, it's in the it's around uh, 10 or 11 o'clock in the yeah, morning, so I don't have a lot of juice here, but let's see. So you've got the trolling motor. If you can't see it, you've got here, turn I'll sideways. Turn I'll turn it so that you can see a bit. tilted up the solar panels so that you get the maximum blazing hot like yesterday I probably have a lot more speed yeah but um, yeah all you need is a board two solar panels plug them straight into your uh, trolling motor in, in, into your trolling motor and away you go now I've got I got more speed forward because I've got three I've got four speeds Let's see, it's hard to, it's trying to get used to steering it. But as you can see, I've got more speed. Yeah, obviously the more sun you got. The problem is... The sun keeps kind of dissipating, it's just slightly hazy, so not super cloudy, but it makes a huge difference. It's, it's amazing, eh? Yeah. If I can get this panel up like yeah. this even. Oh. <laughs> Don't be running aground. <laughs> Okay, careful, it's getting uh, shallow here. Watch your back end. Okay, I'm going to have to spin out and go into reverse. Yeah. It's nicely sloped slowly into the there we go. lake here. Right. Whoa. Now that the sun's stronger, it's a, it's a heck of a lot more... Maybe I'll just lay it flat and relax and see what happens. You get a significant more juice if you tilt it up, though. Okay, interesting. 